I am now on the final coil of my crock pot. Just through to here, added one, two, three, four, five coils. And now I am going to do the water catch rim. So this is quite a tricky rim. I have already got this prepared. My coil is rolled out, waiting. Just not enough clay. If that happens, it's easy enough. Literally, you just must rest the coil down as you do it. Let's do it again. You can feel just the gravity of that pull of what I just did now. Gave all that extra play now. Look. Pinching the rim on. Get even as I go around on the inside as I go around I pinch if you can actually see this motion it's like a pinch pinch joining the clay down to the pot it's been, if you weren't watching the whole thing it's been many coils this is uh, the largest pot I've ever thrown but because I do it in coils I'm not intimidated about the size of the pot, but there will come a time when I actually won't be able to carry the pot because I am limited to how much weight I can carry. This is already very heavy and awkward to carry. So when I turn off the weight of the pot, I will be much lighter. At the moment, it's got all its bulk, all the water moisture that is still inside it. So just wrap it up in plastic every day. My finger, I, I, I basically Really, preparation is key when you're preparing to throw up a coil. If it's uneven, if it's thick on one side and thin on the other side, really, it's just a disaster waiting to happen. So just take the time to get this process right. Just make sure it's all perfect before you do that pull up. Very important to make sure your pot is dead center before you do it, otherwise you're going to be pulling up very few parts. See where there's that little bulge that sometimes starts to appear? That's actually where the one coil met the other. I'm just going to put a little bit of extra clay there just to thicken it out. It's a little bit of a bump here that keeps throwing my eye out. It's actually where the clay was joined. I'm going to move a bit of this clay across and over just so it doesn't keep throwing me out. I'm just going to take this bump out. If I was to pull up with that bump going around, it would destroy everything. I'm taking extra time to get it out. Sometimes you just get little days where it just seems to throw you a few curveballs. It's not always so easy. You have to think on the spot and just hope that this is actually the solution to what's actually going on here. And it feels perfect. And I feel like I'm actually ready now to do the, the seal confidently. Checking to see that my pot obviously still needs to fit the inside shrinkage. To do this, I'm actually going to make it quite fat at the top. See, it's starting to nice and wide and fat. Where the water is going to catch. I need to start to clear up a bit. 
still quite a lot of clay here. So I'm still going to go down quite a lot. I want to go too fast on my wheel now. I don't want this clay to start collapsing. It's got a lot of clay over here holding it up. Bringing a little bit more clay down from the inside of the pot, and adding it to my moat, filling the actual wall of the pot, adding a very steady line. It needs to be for the weight. You remember earlier we actually still need this is all going to shrink. It's very important that I get that right too. When I push it out, this whole boat will push out. So this actually gets filled up with water, which allows for the ferment to burn. This is the world of fermentation, which I'm actually getting quite interested in. It's a very tasty sauerkrauts and all those things, kimchi. It's all about creating your own probiotics, your own pantry, you know, you don't have to throw everything away in the bin, you know, your cabbage leaves or whatever, you can actually just cut them up, chuck salt and all bunch of stuff, it's quite a, there is a process to it, so we don't have to buy it. So I'm just take into account every coil I've pushed and pulled up has all gone to this height, so it's just a little bit more out. The part out is all needs to get to centimeters, it was. So the shrinkage. Okay, that's looking good. I'm gonna squash this rim down a little bit, make it a little bit thicker. And that way you can just do that with clay. I still would like my moat to come down a bit, a bit more. There's a lot of clay over here that I can. I do it quite slowly when I do go down. It's still that little bump. I can actually turn that little lump away later. So I'm not really going to put but I'm actually throwing up now. Let's see. I have to use this tool. It's not getting to this stage. It's too really custom. Wavy. A little bit of this excess clay off. Very slowly going on at the wheel now. Bringing this clay up a bit. best to have that slightly higher than that because if you've got your mend it doesn't spill into the water moat as much. Final measurements. Come in a bit. Perfect. See the outside now with the moat. 47 size of this pot. It's pretty massive. This pot is now at 52. So it wants to be 51. So that's done. Happy.